Hello, this is Brian Hegney, uh, instructor of communication at High Point University. Um, today, I want to talk about packaging up your project. Um, so what you're seeing is just an example map. This is Hegney example map. I can play it and, you know, I can look around and shoot things. Yay, that's nice. But I'd also made a Hegney start map which looks like it's blank but it contains a button right to begin play yay and and it goes to that map so it goes from the start map to Hegney map down here so I could file go to file package project and package this up for 64-bit windows um, but I'm not quite ready yet there's a number of things I'm gonna want to do for starters um, the game doesn't know what map I want to start in. So how does it know out of all of these levels and maps, how does it know what to start in? So I want to start there and kind of show you the settings there. So for settings, or to do that, click on settings, project settings. <clears throat> and from here, we're going to need to do do a couple things. First, let's go to maps and modes. Maps and modes. You have the editor startup map and the game default map. Um, here, editor startup map is basically when I open up the U project file, where is it going to start, right? So that can be whatever. It doesn't matter. For the game default map, that's the map where it's going to start with. Um, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. It's going to start in the game when you package it up. So I'm going to switch to Hegney Start. H Hegney Start. And that's the map that's going to load. It's my start screen. Or whatever your start screen is. Um, and that saves it by default. So that's good. That's the first thing we want to do. The second thing we want to do is look at packaging. So if I click on packaging, the build configuration, what we want to do is set this for the shipping for shipping. Um, it's just going to package a lot better. And the other thing, I use a PHP. We're going to accept defaults for this. And just make sure we set this to shipping. The last thing I think I want to do is kind of show you this platforms. So we're going to set this up for Windows. If we were packaging to an Android project, we'd click on Android, and you'd see we have to go through all sorts of configurations. Um, if we click on Windows, because that's what we're making it for, there's a couple things that we want to look at. Number one, or I guess the three things, are our splash screens. So if we were to do this right now, we'd have these three screens that we're looking at, these three images, the editor splash, or the editor we don't need to change, but the game splash screen we're going to want to change, and the game icon, and this is the one that, this icon is the one that uh, shows for your executable file. We want that to look pretty, right? We want to, that to look like something we've done. And the game splash screen is what's going to show when it's loading. So I'll show you an example of something I made. Um, and this is for a different game, but I'll show you anyway. Well, number one, hover over it. You can see the dimensions, 600 by 200 pixels for the game splash screen. And this one is an ICO 256 by 256. So let's talk about how we set those up. And I'm going to set it to 600 pixels wide by 200 pixels tall. Okay. Um, pixels per inch doesn't matter because it's pixels, right? As long as it's the number of pixels wide, that's fine. And that's what I'm going to do. And so you'll see this thing here. Now, from here, this is what you're comfortable doing in Photoshop. So maybe... Um, 
This is called Fun Revived, right? So maybe I'm going to do a, uh, let's do a green. I'm going to do like a Swamp Thing themed splash screen. So it'll be like, um, I don't know, a gradient of... No, linear gradient, a gradient from one green to the other, but I want it to go from light to dark. Is that cool? Yeah, that might be cool. And I'm going to use the text tool and I'm going to type in fun revived. And of course, I'm going to select that and make a fun. Uh, chiller. Or something like chiller. Yeah. Fun revived. But I'd spend a lot more time on this um, to make it look really cool. Not 172, maybe 150. Is that fun? Yeah, that's cool. Um, of course I'm going to add an effect to that. Probably um, a stroke. Something red, maybe. No. Yellow. Orange. Maybe just a dark green. And then maybe also, also drop sh an outer glow. Yeah, outer glow will be fine. I'll make that stroke a little faded. And do I want to bevel and emboss it? Just a little bit. Sure, let's do it. There we go. So I've got a couple effects on that text. And let's just keep it. Let's just keep it there. And I'll say. I'll say, okay save as a Photoshop document, of course. Now I'm going to go into where I saved this. Um, so I'm going to go into oh, where are we? D D drive, GitHub. No, not there. Hold on. Spot. But, so I'm going to go ahead and, and save this there. Sorry. When I used um, GitHub Desktop to create a directory, I just put it in a really stupid spot. Um, so I need to go to Users, B Hegde, uh, App Data, I know, Roaming. Because so I was testing it out with Stencil. So I accidentally put it in stencils game section so in this I'm gonna add a new folder called Photoshop and I'm gonna call this splash PSD and I'm saving this as a Photoshop in case you need to uh, redo it right so now I'm gonna save this as a bitmap as a BMP and if I save it as a BMP uh, I guess Windows 24 bit is fine, I think. Now I can go to my um, project settings and say, you know what, let's choose a file. Let's go to C, wherever I saved it to. Users, B, Hegney, App Data, Roaming. Yeah, stencil. I know, so stupid. 
good, huh? Fun revived, Photoshop, and there's my BMP. And there, that's going to be the splash screen when I actually save. Um, no thanks. When I actually save it. Sure, let's import that. Okay. And from there, I'm going to stop this video, and when I start it up the next time, what we're going to do is look at creating um, creating an ICO file for your game icon. Okay, bye!